Good morning everyone and welcome to the Trade Talk podcast. Today global markets are doing really well. I am going to say global equities especially in that uh, US markets uh, were up more than 2% in last 2 days. Asian markets are trading with gains of nearly 1.5% to 2%. Nikkei is up more than 1000 points. Gift Nifty is indicating nearly 180-85 points higher opening for our markets. Now, if we go through with global macros, then there also we saw some changes. I'm going to say the 10-year bond yield again recovered back to 3.95 levels from the levels of 3.80. Crude is back to 80 dollars per barrel, and dollar index is at 102.5. But the most important part is that the U.S. inflation numbers and other data. is exactly as per the expectations and that's the reason there is no fear that uh the fed will cut the rate aggressively and maybe that's the reason we are seeing rally in almost all the equities for our markets uh, it was like completely a sluggish time till wednesday we saw some gradual decline in the market but the base part was that the market managed to sustain above the levels of 24000 One hundred on which we discussed on Wednesday. It has not continued its weakness below the levels of twenty-four thousand one hundred, and that season uh, we can we could see upward pullback in the market. Twenty-four thousand three hundred, twenty-four thousand four hundred seems achievable, but crossing the level of twenty-four thousand five hundred will only generate lot of momentum in this market. till then we are expecting market to remain in a range and ideal strategy should be to look for reducing weak long positions between 24300 and 24500 levels on the downside 24100 going to act as trend deciding level below that it could fall up to 24000 and in the worst case scenario 23800 levels bank nifty is in the range on wednesday it has managed very well uh, to sustain above the levels of 50 days sorry 100 days simple moving average which was around some 49700 levels on the higher side 50500 is acting as major resistance for it so as long as the index doesn't cross 50500 we are going to see range bounce out of activity in this market we need to be more and more stock specific as most of these indices are under pressure and we need to see that now how actually uh, these um, uh, i'm going to say which one will be the best performing in next few days so relatively uh, if it, if someone starts doing well then on that we can focus but broadly i am of the view that oil and gas sectors should do well there we are seeing less a correction and whenever there is a rally in the market we see some specific buying interest apart from that it stocks should also be on the watch list as on wednesday when there was like some weakness sort of activity we saw some out performance in it companies so these are the two indices on which we are going to focus in the near term that's all from my side uh, and with this uh, we are ending today's morning podcast thank you very much for listening me have a great day to all of you